So we've gone out, we've got a pipeline, the people have come in. Um, what are what are you finding helps reduce that some of that bias, some of that I'm hiring for culture fit. Um, I listened to or I read an article the other day where um, some recruiter recruiting professional said, oh, culture fit is the number one thing you have to hire for. I, tell, I think that's a bunch of BS because uh, that is not the number one thing you're hiring for values, you're hiring for behaviors and all those things. Um, so how do you find that you you can help reduce bias and 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 companies can better about evaluate candidates um, in this whole recruiting process. Yeah, so I think right now an organization should truly be stepping back to assess just not not just their recruiting strategy, but the overall organizational mission and values. Um, that truly is where it starts now. So is the organization doing anything with everything that's happening in the world to recognize the social activism, the injustice? Are they doing anything to train their people to speak about what the company is doing to combat what's happening out in the world and make sure it doesn't happen within their doors? Um, is the organization creating policies that are anti-discriminatory, anti-harassment, EEO compliant? Uh, if the organization isn't doing that, it's gonna be very tough for them to say that they truly do stand on a platform uh, that would grow limiting or limit the bias of their leaders. Um, I think this is the time in today's climate where we should truly be spending the money on diversity training, spending the money on bias training, spending the money on development, integration techniques as far as you going out, having your leaders go out and interact in communities that don't look like them, volunteering in spaces, being active in politics that further social activism. Um, and if they're not doing those things, how do they expect to drive down bias in the hiring? I just, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine what that would look like otherwise. Yeah, no, it's a great point. Uh, and some companies, every company's got a different appetite for how far they're willing to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but what you talked about are kind of the basics, right? Um, a modern recruiting function would take these things into consideration and really lean in on mm -hmm. Sure, in the bias, unconscious bias pieces are there. That interviewer's capability is there. Um, getting input from diverse candidates that you've hired recently or ones that have been in the company for a while um, and being able to structure those interviews and give people practice, right? One of the things that you can do is actually use the technology to record practice interview sessions, mock interviews. I know everybody rolls their eyes when you say, oh, you got to role play and you got to do a mock interview. Um, but there's a lot of power in role playing and recording and giving feedback to the interviewer because the only way to get better is to get the feedback. And so I think that's one of the things that um, as a takeaway that people could start to do. And, and no one can say they have an excuse because you're all on Zoom and we record mm -hmm. these all the time. And so that's, I think that's a great way uh, to look I at that. Something else that you can do is actually have either the recruiter or some of your HR folk uh, sit in and shadow interviews. I have personally done that, right? Sat in the back of the room and assessed the interaction with the hiring manager or the recruiter to see how the interaction goes. And what you will be astonished by is that there are some times where you notice when a candidate comes in and looks just like the recruiter, there is an ease of conversation. There is a definite preference in having conversation with this person. And then they're more likely to mark this person as a hire. And then you watch either a diverse uh, candidate, person of color, or a woman come in. Um, and then what you have there is a, a discomfort in, in conversation, right? And then what ends up happening, right? I hire someone who I like, someone who reminds me of myself, and I don't hire the diverse candidate. Yeah. I always tell managers, don't try to hire yourself. And that's, that's exactly what people end up doing. No, it's a great point.